All right, hello everyone. This is one big bugger coming at you with Mass Effect. This is my very first playthrough uh, on my channel. I know I've been uploading clips from the Renegade side of my male shepherd, but I've decided to do a full playthrough with my female uh, shepherd, and we're going to be following the Paragon side of this. Uh, later on, I may do the Renegade playthrough with my male shepherd. But my goal here is to um, start a new playthrough series uh, with me uh, doing things, uploading, getting more interactive with my videos, and um, just seeing where it goes and where it takes me. So for this one, we'll be using my already created female shepherd, as I said. I will be taking uh, Rex and uh, Tali with me because I need to complete the game with them. I will be romancing the one you see on the screen right now, Caden, because I've already romanced the other two, so I'm going to follow the storyline that I haven't yet. Yes, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Um, shouldn't be a big deal considering this game is uh, about three, four years old. Most people know it by now that have uh, played it. If you haven't played this, uh, what are you doing? Seriously, go out and play it. If you're considering getting Mass Effect 3 or even Mass Effect 2 without playing the original, um, don't. You will be doing a great disservice to yourself because every choice and thing that you do in the previous games affects the games af that come after it. So everything here will affect Mass Effect 2, everything in 2 will affect 3, and you'll even feel repercussions from back in 1. So, anyways, without Welcome further ado, Alliance military database. let us get started. Classified information requested. Yes, yes, yes. Connect to the database. Let's Establishing go. secure connection. Even in the future. Secure it's slow. connection confirmed. Select existing ID. We want Angel Shepherd. Or is it Angle? I don't know. I could never spell things. Well, what about Shepherd? She grew up in the colonies. And just for references, she I knows will be talking from time to time there. over them talking. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked about Minmar. That in advance. She proved herself during the Blitz, held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero, and Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. <laughs> That was terrible. Yes, you'll notice my shepherd, even though as a soldier, is wearing light armor. We are it was honestly the best Calculate armor I've found so far. Doesn't quite have the damage protection that a heavy armor does, but it has superior shields and a fairly okay biotic protection. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Probably my second favorite character in the I game. I hate that guy. Joker. My favorite. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. 
You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're, You're paranoid. paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Yeah, they don't hey, send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. I may have to vo lower Status the report. speech volume. Just cleared well. the mass relay, Captain. I'll do that. Stealth when this systems is over. engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Derp. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Alright, let's make um, a little volume adjustment here in the dialect. Let's bring it down. Yeah, that should be alright. They're always on a mission. Hello. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. I'll see if I can get oh, some answers when don't I see worry. him. Good luck, Commander. Yes, I will be giving out spoilers and spoilers and spoilers. Here we have Corporal Jenkins. Um, yeah, this is going to be the equivalent of the red-shirted engineer in the original Star Trek. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something <laughs> stupid to mess Ironic. it up. Ironic! Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this Ironic. up. What a bitch. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. Yep, dip, 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 dip. Hello. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. I wonder if the markings are how safe is it really? I haven't gotten to number two yet. I've been having too much fun playing one. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. No. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Oh, I, I being don't like being kept dark. in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. Considering I'm a going on the mission, you'd think I'd Unearthed need to some know. some kind of beacon mm -hmm. during an excavation. It was Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. 
Nihilus really? wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You have showed to be not so only courage, greedy. but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. More irony. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Rock and roll. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Beautiful, serene, tranquil, safe. Get under cover, soldier. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. There's not nothing. There's static. Static is something. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. Status no other report. Alliance the ships hand in the of area. God came out of the sky. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. Mm. A small strike seemed to move quickly That's without drawing said. attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Oh, whoopee. <laughs> Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. No. Your team's the muzzle in this operation, colony. Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. Why are you yelling? What about yelling? survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. All right, the beacon's now yelling top makes priority. sense. Approaching drop point one. Coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours, though. Be hearing that, that's my Good dog, Popo. We are approaching drop point two. He'll hush up eventually. Alright, so. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to temporarily stop recording, tab out of the game, and I'm going to check my recordings to see how they're going. If it's going well, we shall pick up from here. If it's not going well, well, you'll never know the difference because I've got to delete everything and come back and change it all. So hang on while I go check things out. Alright, after much worrying and debating, everything seems to be working just fine. For some reason my frame rate has tanked, but it usually recovers. Hopefully it will. There it goes. Oh, and before I forget, I'm not gonna be doing any armor upgrades or anything right now, but I will be doing a quick auto level up just so they have their abilities. Yeah, skip please. Thank you. I already know. What the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Yeah, they're also freaking ugly. Yeah. Now, for reference, Perimeter clear. I already know that uh, something is over there. I really don't need it, so I'm not gonna go and get it. I'm just gonna head straight for the story. What happened here? What happened here? It's called an attack, dude. Yeesh.
Corporal, here's your chance to not mess things up. Oop. Fail. Would that be including the dead soldier? Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. Grasp of the obvious is amazing. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. Which, by the way, while I'm thinking this, yes, I know that. Stop telling me. I have some upgrades to do. Scram rail. Um, scram rail. Scram rail. Mm. Do frictionless. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they still have these old upgrades. I swear I, I replaced them, but whatever. We'll do frictionless to keep the heat down. And we'll add the rail extension for more damage. Of course, I could always just use this Volkov, which is one point stronger, but no, the accuracy rating's not as good. Why do I have all this? One? Why? I don't remember having all this. It must be some kind of glitch in the game. Mm, explosives, pistol. Oh, yeah, I'll just do that. You've already get the stabilizer. I'm not gonna bother with anyone else. Until we get beyond the first mission. You got a good nose. Hmm. I don't know, in a few years, they may actually chip through enough to shoot me. Da -da -da. Phew. Got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Funny, I don't remember throwing grenades. What? Thank you. Hey! Stop that. Gas bag with the epic dodging skills. I just change weapons. What is going on here? Not that I mind too much, but really, this is not. There we go. Area secured. And here we have. Ashley. I gotta admit, out of the two female romance possibilities, Ashley and uh, Liara, I think Ashley's the much, uh, in much more interesting choice. Oh, that hurts. But only for a moment. Uh, she's just funny, wild card, outspoken, you know, just a lot more fun in terms of dialogue. Hmm. Let's bring out something a little more heavy hitting, shall we? Yeah, it's much better. Ooh, can I hit beyond the shield? Yes, I can. <laughs> and I wonder why I say the sniper rifle is OP in this. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Oh, I Are I you am. wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. How do you get scrapes? We were patrolling armor the perimeter like when the attack hit. 
We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Go ask them. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Rawr. Move out! Really? One? I really don't care. I just need to auto-level her up. Oops, skip. That's good enough for me. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Didn't you say that already? Now oh, see, why am I gonna get level one item there? But I'm gonna get these here. It makes no sense. Uh, but I'll tell you what I will do. I'm going to change my Polarium rounds for the sledgehammer round in my sniper rifle. Sledgehammer is kind of a jack of all trades round. Um, it works well against everything, but not particularly great against everything. Um, part of the trick of the game is to come out, come out wherever you are. Yeah, the AI in this sometimes needs a little help. Oh, fine, I'll just shoot you in the leg. But I am. Oh, stop it. Mm, annoying at best. Take out those hostiles! Didn't I? <laughs> I love this game <laughs> just for things like that. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Now I'm gonna be honest up front. I am following, as I said before, the Paragon side of this. But... Um... I wanna check it out. I'll I will there. also be doing a couple things here and there that will gain me Renegade points, just because the options are too damn funny and fun to not choose. Looks like they hit the camp hard. No. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Sometimes the stating of the obvious of this game is just too funny. Yes, these are oh, God. Known as still husks. Alive. What did the Geth do to them? them in the mindless drones. Hi now! Ah, he's not active yet. There we go. Now he is. Why are you not dead? Something ain't right here. I should be eliminating these guys in one shot. I don't know what the hell was going on. All targets down. Yeah, when you hear him say, like, hunt or something, you can walk up to him and talk to them. Medium human armor, mercenary. I'm just curious. I know it's probably not an upgrade, but I'll look anyways. That door, it's closed. Security locks engaged. Thank you. I would have never guessed. I'd have been standing there banging on the door going, WHY WON'T YOU OPEN? Oh, really? Tell me I'm gonna mess this up on an easy decryption? FAIL! Oh my god! Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, Fail we'll protect click. you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? 
It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Okay, what's, what's up wrong with, with this your assistant? Dude? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the yep. destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Fucking punch. Oh my god. What did you do? Knocked him on that his ass. What do you think? Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. Yes, I can. It was can. only a matter of time till he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose yes, you're that right. will gain you By the time he wakes points, up, the meds will have kicked in. To me. Anyways, Williams, I'm out of take here. us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Yeah, nine renegade points, but <laughs> so be it. Hello, Nihilus. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <laughs> oh, but of course, for anyone who may like been living under a rock for the past three years, Saren will be the main. What is that? Bad Off guy. In the it's a ship. Look at the size of it. That's what she said. Literally. Oof. I think he needs an oil change, man. So, um, yeah, sniper rifle, overpowered this game. Well, the interesting thing is, when it came to Mass Effect 2, uh, a lot of people complained about having to have, um, there's still one more thing. Ammo, actually pick up ammo, manage ammo in the game. I really think that that ammo is there for a reason. The truth of the matter is, when it came to the soldier, you had very little drawbacks. You had infinite ammo on your guns. You only had to worry about the overheating. They were extremely powerful. Plus, you can regenerate your health. Um, you can wear the heaviest armor. There was very, very, very few drawbacks, if any, to being a soldier. By giving you ammo, a limited supply, you, f you get a drawback. You know, because every other class tends to have drawback. You can't use all the weapons, you don't regenerate your, your health, you know, you don't get special training and this and that. So you are actually at a disadvantage. The soldier just seemed really didn't have one, and I think that's why they changed the, to the ammo in the game. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Oh no, I count six arms. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Um. No, we're just gonna I skip have to go. that. Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. You have something what to tell me, Cole? On me? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange Oops. for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. 
just thought there might you be something you can use. Smart? I found a really? pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Stick a gun in this piece. Nah. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. Don't I have to go. Good luck. Now, when you play this the very first time through, this is actually a very good weapon. It will take priority over everything else that you have. Um, pretty much all the way through the beginning of the game itself. No, I never did explore over here. You know, there's probably nothing. And eh, nope. Through the fire! Ow, 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 ow. Level 3 hazard. As I burn myself. Commander, it's Nihilus. Thank you. I would have never known. Wait, over here there's something. Yeah, we'll take that and get out of the fire before I burn myself too much. You see, you can see my health slowly coming up there as the advantage of the soldier. Turian? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us on the door. Something's moving! Over behind those crates! Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed! I, I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. Mm -hmm. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. You're Cole's contact yes, here on you're the, the docks smuggler. for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby it that might. we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us That's off? That's why I like I her. never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Especially if I were to kill you. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. I seriously doubt it. Take it. At this point. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Good enough. Let's go. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Oh, actually, no, it's not that bad. This is interesting. Well, that's not a glitch, is it? Behind my back to cock the gun. 
<laughs> hey, let me fix this. There we go. Oh, that was too funny. Biotic throw. Why? Two shots. He's done. Hmm. Hello. Ow. That hurt. Let me go over here instead. Now I do realize the difference in this because those floaters weren't here on the first playthrough. So yeah, let me use that. There we go. Meta gel. Pop. Oh, big guy charging. Shit. Oops, excuse me, I didn't mean to say that. Get under cover, you idiots! Yeah, I tend not to bother with my crew too much because, quite honestly, until later in the game, I do most of the killing work. Like that. Honestly, that wouldn't be that easy at the beginning of the game because the sniper it. rifle would be much harder to control. But uh, at this point, um, yeah, not too hard. Meta gel replaced. Meta, medi, whatever. And away we go. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Departing Geth Destruction. Ooh, a bomb. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Derp. Like I wouldn't have known that. Oh, quit shooting me. Ah, fail. I guess I can shot at him though. Cover. I'm pretty sure that did hit him. There we go. Yeah, that makes sense. Put up a shield to cover yourself and then walk out of it. That takes care of that. Demolition charge. Because, you know, somehow I know how to disarm this with no problem. Tell them to take cover. Nah. Quit annoying me. And the last charge good, is over here. I think we're good? Does that include the fact I didn't disarm this yet? Or that there's more enemies beyond the doorway? Phoenix. That's probably not going to be an upgrade either. But I'll look anyways. Nope. 
Like I said, the heavy armor usually tends to have better protection when your shields go down, but I find shields to be more important than the actual body protection. Huh. I hear one close by. The thing I'm wondering is why I didn't take him down in a single shot. Whatever. Fail. There we go. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Now the interesting thing is, if you do Something this with a male shepherd, it's actually that Standing gets by. up to the pro to the probe and gets in trouble instead of Caden, kind of hinting at who your love interest should be. How strong is she? You just throw his ass out of the way. No, don't touch her. It's too dangerous. Well, that could have gone better. We identified the, the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy. Yes, you are Alliance hearing that vessel. correctly. That it was under the command of Captain Anderson. Deanna Troy. They managed to save the colony. The person that plays Deanna Troy, I, one, one of those people that have a hard time used it. Uh, thinking of Star Trek. Uh, ooh, you mad, bro? Okay. I have a hard time thinking of Star Trek players outside of their Star Trek names. This matriarch Venezia. This human must be eliminated. Blue skinned MILF, I suppose. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that was a little low. Doctor? Doctor Chakwas. I think she's waking up. Derp! You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Oh, Actually, we I don't smiled. even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Thank you. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. 
I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. I hope so. This would be Shepard, a very I short game. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Mm, I could go through this, but uh, like I said, I've been here before. I'll so live. We're just gonna plow on. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. Wow. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Yeah, but he wasn't there for the He humans. didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of... vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Now again, if you're not familiar with this game, when you have a triple choice like this in your speeches, um, the top one will usually follow the the good guy kind of like uh, storyline, Paragon, you know, the proper answer. The middle one's kind of the neutral answer. If you don't want to gain any like points or lose a chance of doing something, such as I got a chance to do a mission, but if I choose like Paragon and we miss it, I can go with the neutral, still get the mission and not gain any renegade points. And the bottom is usually your renegade choices, the hard ass, hard nosed, you know, screw the world. Uh, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it done choice. So like I said, we're following Paragon. So. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Alright, so... That was the preliminary mission that's supposed to take you through all the things. Um, you've seen my shepherd here. I'm going to continue this series, of course. But um, for now, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to render this. I'm going to make sure it came out okay. Um, I'm going to save it uh, to upload because i got a couple more things to upload in front of it. And then I'll start uploading this series. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, you know. So this is one big bugger, and uh, signing out, see you next time.